I called this fly the Comet, peanut bunker being around. A lot of people want to know how to tie it. So we're going to jump down to the vise and tie it. Some of the main ingredients is a bucktail in it. So make sure you get yourself a decent bucktail. But I'll show you all the other materials. Don't mind the little eye. Uh, I'll show you all the other materials down up close and personal. So let's get down to the vise and let's tie this uh, little bitty fishy peanut bunker style fly. Let's get to it. All right, so my bucktail's in two pieces. Um, unfortunately, it broke. So to begin the fly, we're gonna start with here, and then we're gonna work our way down over here. It's a simple, simple fly. The hook we're using is SA280 minnow hook from uh, two uh, from Arex. I like these hooks because they just sit perfect. Uh, they got a perfect weight to them, and uh, you don't have to keel them. Not only that, um, they have a perfect gap and enough space to tie this fly on. So there it is. For the thread, we're using um, Beavis 100 denier uh, GSP. We're just gonna start our thread. We're gonna bring the thread all the way to the back here. To about the hook bend where the barb begins. All right, and then we're gonna cut this off. Simple, easy. I'm gonna put some glue down because this is GSP. And I'm just gonna go over it one time. That's Zappa Gap I put down. Uh, you could use Loon, you could use um, whatever glue you want. Um, if you prefer to tie with Solar Res, whatever. So there is that. We're gonna get, build a little bump here reason why I want the little bump is I want the bucktail to be able to slide around the back. So we pinched off a piece. I'm just going to clean off the butt ends here. The little shorts. This tail is very full. Um, this is a good tail that I got here. Right, and we're gonna go about four inches. So four inches is about right there. Okay, I'm gonna cut off and make this nice and here's our cut straight cut. Take it once, two, and three times. Okay, we'll flare it out a little bit, but not too much. And we just want to place this all the way around. So use your thumb to place it all the way around the hook. Once you have it in your hook and where you want it pinch your hair there okay, and get it nice and tight all the way around working your thread forward once you have it there boom you're good you could use some zappa gap you could use some uv we're going to use some uv here and i'm just going to advance my thread right in front hit it with the light next thing we're going to be using is going to be flashaboo this is in Pearl, F0253, F0253, from Wapsie, this is extra limb, this is like super, super uh, skinny stuff, I'm going to be using three strands for this part, uh, just going to secure them right on top, okay, so you do it three wraps to hold them and then you're going to split it into two on each end or each side one, two and two on the other side one two get it nice and tight there it is okay make sure your ends are pretty much kind of the same Right there, that gives you a little flash in there, okay? So we selected that from the top of the tail. We're gonna move down to the bottom of the tail here, towards the bottom of the top half of the tail. And uh, we're just gonna select a nice little clump here. And this is gonna be our next tie-in. If a little brown gets in there, it's perfectly okay. Um, bunker are not the cleanest looking fish. So if you got a little color in there, we got a little color in there so we're gonna just go like this with the brown no big deal 
and we're gonna go back here. One, two, three, go all the way around. You're kind of creating like a hollow, okay? Boom. A little brown, like I said, is okay. We gotta make this even, so we're gonna bring all the way around. Play it. Oh, let's put the brown towards the top there. Let it splay out. Okay, and then we're just gonna go right over the top. Just like that. And bring our thread forward. Right in front of that little bump. It's creating a nice little big fish profile. Okay, so we're done with this piece. We're gonna select a piece of hair from about the middle of the tail. We're not putting another flash in, not yet. Hold your horses. All right, so we're gonna go right here. So we're gonna save that. Next thing we're gonna be using is some Squimfish uh, Boutique. This is the Boutique Blend and this is the yellow okay so what you're just gonna do you're just gonna come into your boutique and you're just gonna take a pinch okay you don't have to go crazy just take a pinch now we're gonna fold it in half and then we're gonna cut it the reason why we cut it is because we're gonna be building our fly here so we're gonna take our half that's here we're gonna put it on top just like that we're gonna secure this one two and three you want to go really tight on this yellow and we're gonna hit it with a little zap again up here squimfish is a little slippery so we hit it with the zap gap we're gonna hit it with the with the thread all right now this part here you're just gonna split it into two so you're gonna take one your left take one to your right there it is okay now you have that zappa gap base all right now you see how this is all straight just come in here you can trim it up you can keep it it doesn't really matter there this is a quick fly next thing we're going to be using is some clown this is clown squimfish uh it's boutique um it's red it's just uh they call it the clown red so i'm going to take a nice pinch again once again we're going to fold this in half as well meet the two ends together just like that now the red's going to go on right over your yellow Okay, there's your red. Once again, we're gonna put a little zap a gap on there. Just a drop, just to secure everything. One, two, three turns. Okay, this is a little bit long on the red side, so we're gonna cut it about right there. We're gonna take this and we're gonna trim it here. Gonna give it like a jagged edge, All right? And again, you're gonna split it in half. So do your best judgment. Fold it in half, and fold it in half again. Zap zappa gaps on there. That's holding it. Now you now you have a little red, little yellow. Um, if you have any yellow stragglers here, just cut them off. Squimfish sometimes does get a little long. There it is. All right. So now you have this other piece of bucktail that we cut off. All right. 
take this bucktail and we're going to put it right over the top just like this kind of hide that right in there one two three all the way around don't be scared give it some some flare there it is and then you could lock this down it stays on the hook it's okay uh, there's plenty of other steps you're doing you're going to hide that all right and you're going to do one more white over the top so you're going to take another piece of bucktail just very slim slim pickings take brush out the shorts always and you see that's very slim we're just going to go right over the top just right there yes i'm wasting a lot of bucktail on this typically you have two three tails to do this fly so that way you're not wasting all that tail but there's what i wanted there's that secure that down right there so now you got a little bit of a see-through red and yellow in there gives you that nice slop slop all right we're gonna do four more strands of flashaboo now you don't have to uh you could just do two you could just do three you could do five you could do six actually i got five here so we'll have to play with it no we don't these are going to be like lateral lines almost so we're going to put that in there one two three i like to do it in threes one two three and i'm definitely cutting this off short or about there if it's the same size it doesn't really matter and you got that right there and it would zap again Get everything bundled up, and you're going to do three more turns. The head looks like crap. You're probably thinking, man, this is a terrible looking fly. It might look like that to you, but it won't be for long. This is um, American Tide Flies um, Magnum Dubbing. This is in pearl white. This is going to be the belly of the fly. Okay. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to restack it. So I'm going to take any loose ends, put them right in the middle. I'm going to pull gently and put it in the middle. This will get all the ends to be together. I'm going to tie this in 50-50. I'm going to take this, put it in 50-50. One, two, three, and really cinch it down. Okay, so now you have 50-50 split on your white. For Since this is a peanut bunker, uh, fly for the top we're using garbage pickle a garbage pickle from him it's also in the magnum dubbing um, it's like a olive with a little flash and black in there really makes it look like a um, great looking bunker little peanut bunker and 50 50 with this as well do two three turns one two and three now you have that fold this over and then you're gonna fold this over put your fingers okay if you have a brush use a brush to brush it out um, Brush out your dubbing, get it oriented the way you want it. If you end up getting a gap right here, like I have, it's quite okay. Your eyes are going to be laying in there. Okay, take out all that extra dubbing that might be coming loose. You don't need a comb for this fly like you do for EP fibers. Uh, just one simple strip back, everything gets corrected. So once again, we're going to go with white. I'm just going to bundle everything together and loose ends and bring them to the middle. With this one, you're going to go about 70-30. 70% 70 
70 being in the front, 30 being in the back. So. Turns, and we're going to take some of that garbage pickle. This garbage pickle is a little short, so we're just going to make it 70 30, but we just have to blend it in a little better. Okay, so once again, you're going to bring this under, just like that. Make sure you don't trap any of the dubbing. So when you come forward, go towards your hook eye, and then just bring this back nice and tight, and just make some threads right in the front to secure it. I'm going to put some zap -it gap on my thread here, and this will really get everything bound without me destroying the dubbing too much let's zap a gap that will lock your thread in there and then we'll do a quick whip finish I like to do a double due to the fact that this is GSP might get loose that in there just like that okay now we're gonna brush this out pull it back pull all that out of there now you have that gap as you could see right so we're gonna take some loctite glue and I'm going to place a drop right where that thread is exposed. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now the eyes I'm using are 7.5 millimeter 3D eyes. I'm going to do the near side first so you guys can see what it looks like with the eyes on there. Now... You could use this fly even for smallies. These are really effective for smallies as well. But their initial making was as peanut bunker. You could do them in variety of colors. Uh, white, pink, pink and white, all white, black, uh, purple, whatever you want there's your fly we got a little glue in the front just pull that glue out of there put it right over the eye okay right there and then I'm gonna take my UV to get these eyes to stay on what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it on the eye and bring it towards the hook eye this will get into the dubbing a little bit, securing everything together. I'm going to hit it, and then I'm going to do the same thing towards the back. So I'm going to just bring it onto the eye, and then slide it into the middle of the fly there. And this will just help the eyes to stay on longer. They're eventually going to fall off. The eyes are mostly for fishermen. Um, but... Again, just slide it over. And for the fact that we're doing this on a video, I'll actually glaze the eyes all the way. What I mean by glaze, I'm just covering them with UV all the way around.
do not tie too many of these with the UV. You may get sick. Um, and there's your fly. I'm gonna I always take it out of the vise, and then that's your profile. Take it out of the vise, and I brush it out. Make sure everything's good. Flip it. Hold it like this. And just brush this dubbing out. And there's your little fly. And you can do it in a variety of colors like I said. But there's your comet. Got a little red or yellow in there. A little bit of everything. Hope you guys enjoyed it.